So here we see the RMF 500 of Race3D, the new big industrial printer version from Race3D. So we have a build volume of 500 by 500 by 500 millimeter. And as you can see, we have an IDEX system. So we can also use both heads to print the same part in duplicate or mirror mode. And to be able to be that productive, you can store here up to four spools of 2.5 kg each. And you can go for the solution to have, for IDEX mode, for example, to have 5 kg model material and another 5 kg of the same model material or you can have 5 kg of model and 5 kg of support material so that's really handy you can print a full weekend thanks to the 10 kg material you can store um, it's humidity controlled in these bags so just controlled it won't lose humidity but it's controlled and uh, as you can see the machine is really of uh, industrial grade you have the big screen you have the the high performance hot ends and yeah a very sturdy machine so which the machine you can produce a lot so here we see the sample parts of the rmf 500 of race 3d so as you can see there are different materials so the rmf 500 was made for fiber filled materials but now it's fully open so fully open for to the open filament program for example and you see that also not fiber filled materials like abs in high speed can be printed and then post processed to a really really nice part and also the volume of the rmf 500 is really big it's 500 by 500 by 500 millimeters and then you can print such amazing parts in pet that's filled with carbon fiber so that's really amazing surface quality is outstanding or you can also go for really high performance materials like ppa filled with glass fiber and of course due to the idex system you have two printheads so you can go for support material and build material from different kinds of filament so that's all for the sample parts of the rmf 500. So here we see the metal fuse solution of Race3D. So a set of three hardware units that can provide full metal parts in the end. And it starts with the Forge 1. So that's basically the printer that uses BASF ultra fuse filaments. So 316L or 74PH in, in combination with a special support material to produce um, a roughly 20% upscaled part that is still with support and uh, support structure and dense layers from this special support material. It looks like that, including a special raft that avoids shrinking in the later process. And then you bring these parts to the debinder. It's a catalytic debinder that gets rid of um, yeah, the 20% filler that's still in the metal um, by catalytic process. And then you bring it to the center and in the center it will um, then shrink to the final format that you want to have and then you have a 90-70% dense metal part 316L or 74PH and that's a really easy process starting with a printer, the binder and the sinter and which you can achieve really nice high quality metal parts that are up to 97% dense. So here we see some samples of the metal fuse from Race. So this is printed on the Forge 1. So basically you take your part which you want to have in metal later on, bring it to the idea metal, scale it up by 20% so that it's bigger than the part you want to have later on. Then you bring it to the debinder, it would be step in here, and then you bring it to the center. So the debinded part is not here because that's yeah, not so stable, so that will, uh, during exhibition, will collapse. So that's why we just bring the sintered part, that's basically the end use part already, but you can of course also go to polish it or to post-process it, and then it could look like that. And we have two different steels right now, we have 316L and 174PH, so these are the two available materials from BSF that can be printed on the Forge 1, and they really look awesome. Here we see some samples out of the 
metal fuse from race and as you can see there are also very tiny and very precise parts in it and that's achieved in a quite simple way if you change from the 0.4 nozzle in the Forge 1 to a 0.2 nozzle you can achieve such beautiful prints in full metal up to 97% dense and that's amazing So here we see the freshly launched uh, DF2 from Racer D. It's a resin DLP printer and as you can see it's quite big. So we have roughly 20 by 12 by 30 centimeters and it's a DLP printer so you can expect high precision even if it just shows a 2K resolution on the datasheet you will have a really precise pixel so the quality that is coming out of the machine is really outstanding so a very smooth surface so that customers that come by here are convinced that for example this resin tank is the original injected mo inject molding part but when you open it you can see that this is a printed version and so that shows how good the quality is uh, is of this machine so that you convince someone that this is injected molding and uh, also the other parts are really nice so and the machine is really easy to handle so you have for example an automatic pumping system with a scale that also shows how much is in there and of course uh, also there's an ultrasonic uh, sensor that checks how much resin is actually in the uh, in the resin wet so you have a heating for the chamber you have uh, air filtration this is magnetic holder so you can um, lock it over a special system so you don't need to screw something and as you can see there is a uh, information stored on this one so you bring with the build plate bring the information to the next machine so that are actually war so this is the curing station and this is the washing station and you bring with that information on there you bring the information for the curing time washing time with the print uh, with the build plate and that's really handy so you can't make a mistake for for that and another nice feature that's on the machine is the magic layout so if you have a print file and you click on magic layout you can on the machine change the cheat code basically and if you want to you can just fill it up or delete single parts so that's really handy and makes it easier if you just have one test print and you're satisfied with this test print you can then just go for a full load of objects on the build plate and that's really nice so basically a very easy to use machine and a really nice set so that will yeah change the way people produce in DLP I would say <laughs>